Welcome to Scott's Comics and Collectibles, live from the boot sale. So, guys, had another good week at the boot sales this week. Went to two. Uh, some fantastic stuff in my eyes. Uh, quite a few sellers, a lot of resellers starting to pick up now who's who. And you give them the little nod as you know each other as you're always there at the same time, week in, week out. Uh, so, got to meet some of the other guys that are after similar bits and pieces as myself. Uh, but yeah, check out the video guys and I go through the pickups at the end. So hope you enjoy Do this one first.
How much are your figures? Uh, 50 pay for them. All right, cheers. Oh, here you go. Same. Oh, sorry. Here you go. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh. Cheers. Thank you. You go four pounds, in it? <laughs> oh, cheers. Thank you. No, four pounds. Sorry. Sorry, if I just look in there quickly. Yeah. Cheers, thank you. I'll step over here. A little bit, it's just there's so many cards in there to go through. And... How much are your teddies? I don't usually pick up teddies to be fair, but. What one, uh, this one. This one. That one. Oh, I used to have that when I was a kid. What, just this one? Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't know about the care bears. I don't know too much about the care bears to be fair. Yeah, they're, they're the old ones. Are they? <coughs> uh, Ma, how much your clear beds? No, your old ones. What are you doing for? Yeah, the three pounds each. Okay. I'll look at that one. I remember having this one. Um, yeah. like textbook on that one. Oh, no, I know. I, yeah, I like these ones. Like the. Yeah, yeah I remember. Like I remember these ones growing up. Yeah, she had, I think that's the last two that she had. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's the last Take six for them. Go uh, eight. Seven. Yeah, three, Seven. Each, Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you've got one, only because I don't think they're going to fit in my that pack. Ah, oh, cheers. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. I've yeah, I don't don't see them that often. Oh. Got five there. Okay. All right, thank you. Cheers. All right, cheers. Thank you. Thanks a lot for that. No doubt I'll be back in a bit. Cheers. Thank you.
Oh, sorry, how much are your games? Uh, it depends what, what ones they are. Right? Okay. How much is this the Power Ranger one, by any chance? Dad, how much is that? Four quid. Okay. Cheers, thank you. Oh, sorry, how much are your game things? Yeah, Just £10. okay, cheers, thank you. Cheers, thank you. Oh, cheers, oh, thank you. Oh, I don't have any magic bottles. I'll take the beginning. Um, it's a bit I'll work it out if you want to pick whatever you want to get and then I'll work it out. Let's see the shoes, please. How much are your joypads and games? Um, okay. Sorry, how much, sorry? Four quid. For the game and joypad? Five off of the game and the chip controller. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, check the game. Yeah. No. Everyone there's five up. Right. Right. So. Is that more clothes? Is that more clothes? Yeah. Then. Sorry, you take five for that because the game's not it's not the right one that's in there. Oh yeah, that's fine. I'll grab those. Have you got a change of ten at all? Yes. Oh thank you. Oh much appreciated. Thank, thank you. Very much. Thanks. Oh, 
人はな Oh, sorry. How much is your PlayStation? Is that for the box? It's a... Oh, each. All right. Cheers. Thank you. All right. Cheers. Thank you. How much is your PlayStation, by the chance? Um, well, all the games for the lights are just the station. Uh, how much is the lot? Oh, no. 30 quid. Okay, cheers, thank you. Okay. Cheers, thank you. How much are your games at all? Uh, Wii U games are a fiver each. Okay. And then the two, two Wii's. Two Dora War games are two pound each. Okay. And then we've got the original StarCraft for six. Okay, thank you.
How much are your DVDs, sorry? Uh, 50 p I take this one. I will get it out. Oh, sorry, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Sorry, how much are your DVDs? And bits um, and pieces in here? Pound each. Okay. Yeah. Free. Cheers, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, mate. Fail. Should have checked it.
So what's the best you'll do on the PlayStation? Ten. Would you do eight at all? I'll take these, please. You haven't got a change of 20, have you? If not... Oh, thanks. Apologies about that. Thank That's you. Right. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. What's that box that has that juicer in it? Oh, it's on top of there. No, no, it's How much are these ones on the floor? Are these 50p as well, these ones? Oh, or? no, they're all £2. Pounds, okay. Don't they? All right, then. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, you want to ask about the Lego? No, I come earlier. I brought some teddies and a bit off you. And a few figures. Because they were Star Wars Lego, wasn't it? No, no, no. I, I come earlier and brought all these, you know, the teddy bears. Oh, bits yeah. and pieces. It's and... not asked about Star Wars Lego, but why? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, is there? Oh, there. oh yeah, I think you come weekly, don't you? Because I think I bought a load off you last week as well, actually. Or the week before, I think it was. Yeah, I bought some. I, I can't remember which ones I got off you. I bought a few <laughs> last week. Would you do a pound each for these? Go 150 each. Uh, yeah, go on then. I'll, I'll take those ones. <laughs> Definitely take those. Uh, let, right, that, let me um, just put them there and then I'll grab you soon. Did he not take your Pokemon cards in the end? No. I thought that guy was going to take a load of Pokemon cards. He was looking, there was someone looking at them all yesterday, uh, earlier. Uh, 50p, that one. It's six pounds, isn't it? Yeah, six. Yep. Here you go. Thank you. No bag. Nice, all right, I'll fit them in this one. You give me this one earlier. So I'll just throw them in there. Cheers, thank you. How much are your Pokemon cards? There's loads of them, isn't there? Yeah, Jesus. I've got that for quid. Okay. We sold loads last time. That was the last one. I think that indoors. I might take a look at that after. Even these new ones look like the originals. I'm going to take these ones, take a chance on these. I don't know what it is, but 2 Yeah, I thought we had that. Quite a few packets last uh, two weeks ago now. How much are you asking on all of those? Just, I'm just asking. I'm not a, I don't think I'm going to say it. I just thought I'd ask the Someone question. Someone else asked that. Really oh, did they? I don't even know, because where we do doing temp eight, Yeah. The kids come up and buy. Oh, loads. Yeah, quite a few. No, that's all right. I just. I should do like 12 for a pound, isn't it, mum? I was asking what you went for the whole box. I was like I'm just asking the question, like just asking the question. Pound, if not, I'm going to buy a few anyway. We got like 12 for a pound last time, didn't it? Yeah, we got to do 12 for a pound. Okay, no, no, that's fine. You've got to ask, I guess. I mean, you... I'll give it a... I think, I think. Are you taking the bag? Yeah. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Okay. 
You take the, oh, you take these for four. I've got a few, only four yeah. cards there. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Ah, uh, thanks a lot. Right. Thank yeah. you. Oh, thanks a lot. Right, Thank you. Bye. Ah, oh, cheers, thank you. There's a mixture in there. Some I know, some I don't know. Ah. Because my neighbour gave me some, some were ours. Ah, oh, cheers, thank you.
How much are your games, sorry? They vary in price. Okay. How much is this on? Quick. Yeah, I'll take that. Down this end. Yeah, that's a puzzle. Just... I'll, I'll, come I'll, I'll come down. Just look at this one, isn't it? on uh, YouTube? No, I've, I've tried to do it. I've done it for about two weeks. Uh, so I'm just you trying You went to... on last week? Did you put it on last week? I come last week, yeah. uh, but I've done a very small, my video was really small yeah, screen. Short, yeah, yeah. So it wasn't uh, wasn't that decent, to be fair. No. So it's only my son, because you came over here and we were over it. You walked around and he said, I'll see you. He's over yeah, there. I just keep, yeah, I walk around, there's loads of people that do it though. Yeah. I was quite surprised, because I started seeing loads of people doing this one, and yeah. I thought, oh, I'm going to give it a go as well. Yeah. So yeah, just these two, please. I think two games, Pete. Two games. Uh, four quid. Yeah. Put in that box. Nothing there. What is this one? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's some more. Oh, I look in there as well. Stop, Pete. Sunday. Next Sunday, we'll have more yeah. Sunday. Minimum 30. Minimum 30. Alright. I'm going to work. I don't need to I'm feel like that. I'm totally late. Even for the service. Yeah, I told you, we served it for me. I'll take these three. Um. Cheers, thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers, thank you. I need one point. Oh, that's the fiver for that, yeah. One point, one point. No, no. 
okay, okay. Uh, this is my plan. Oh yeah, cheers, thank you. Much appreciated. Alright, cheers. How much are your games for the PlayStation? Um, pound each. Yeah, I ain't never seen this one before. I've definitely got that in my collection. Need to grab that. Tension new, got tension new. Ah, right, here you go, one pound. Thanks. Cheers, thank you, much appreciated. Yeah, the amount of uh, compliments 
Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the start, isn't it? I mean, thanks, right? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Let's have some more. How much are your games? Um, pound each, mate. Okay. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, thank you. Oh, thanks a lot, mate. Thank you. It's just a little game in there. Is it a game? Yeah. What one is it? Marvelous. Can have it for a pound. Yeah? yeah. Cheers, thank you. You're welcome. There you go. Yeah. Oh, thanks a lot, thank you. You're welcome. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm gonna go through the pickup. It's going to be in no particular order from each of the boot sales because I've got two bags and I think I was mixing and matching. So I go through the first thing. So you would have seen me pick up. And guys, I was going back and forth on this one. I uh, wasn't too sure if to pick it up. Didn't know if £10 was a good price when the lady first said £10. But there's a lady there and you'd have seen in the video, she had quite a few PlayStations. So the original PlayStations, which I've already got a few of, but if they were going very cheap, I would have picked them up. Uh, don't know if £10 is cheap or not. But I saw the PS1 Mini uh, with the cables and a joypad. And then one of the consoles had a memory card in. So I took the memory card out and put it with this as a bundle and asked her if she'd take £8. She said, yep, she was happy with that. Haven't tested it yet. Uh, so hoping it works. If not, I have to play around with it. But yeah, for £8, quite happy with that. So that was one of the first pickups. I guess you would have seen from one buy that I went back to twice. Uh, so I picked up some sealed Pokemon cards. So this is one of the sets, and I think it's from 2019, and it's got quite a few different cards in there. Shiny one at the front. She said she's had a few of these every week and been selling them at £4. So I paid £4 for that, and then I got four separate cards thrown in, which we'll go over because I think they're at the bottom of the bag. Uh, so from the same seller as well, she had a few toys, retro toys. She wanted £2 each, which I thought was quite expensive. Uh, ended up paying, I think, £1.50 but getting little bits and pieces thrown in through her store throughout the day anyway. But I believe that Skeletor from the new He-Man series, uh, definitely drop that in the comments because I'm not 100% sure, but I picked that up and I can't see anything. So I don't think it is now because it's got 19... 1988 on the bottom of the figure. So I'm not even too sure what that's from then. I thought that was from Skeletor. So definitely, you know, if anyone knows what that is, definitely drop that in the comments. Uh... Brought Mumra, he's missing weapons and hat, but yeah, good to have. Uh, picked up, so yeah, I've been going back through, especially Netflix at the moment, they're replaying a lot of the old Terminator movies, so I've been I've been watching them all, and uh, yeah, saw the Terminator there, and thought, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to pick him up. Definitely love the movies, uh, so he can go into the collection as well. Spawn, anything McFarlane, quite like, uh, and he's had a documentary on at the moment around the stuff he's done with Image Comment comics kicking that off and bringing obviously spawn to life and how well those comics have done turning into movies and etc and then you would have seen that one at the start so chip hazard 50p you can't go wrong for anything small soldiers related it's got quite a following so pick that up and then from the same store guys as well i don't tend to get a lot of teddies you'd see obviously i've got a few in terms of et and i've got a few put away 80s ones that i always keep saying when i come to resale i'm going to get rid of them so i've got a huge box in the loft of like gizmo a few pokemon ones ewoks etc and then i've got my pet monster up there as well i tend to pick them up quite if i'm going to pick them up i like to pay between 50p to one pound i believe these ones were three pound and i end up getting a pound off but anything retro now guys it's just the price is just increasing uh, but yeah, so 
I'm on. I'm believing that these are the original Care Bears. One, because obviously the seller was saying she had them since a child. Uh, but it's more the the metal bits on near the bottom. I'm more than certain the original ones had the metal bottom and the newer ones have got the patches. I would say that one hasn't got a tag, so I can't even see on that one. And this tag has completely faded. But I, yeah, I'm going to bet that they're the original ones just there. Again, guys, if anyone knows it in terms of the buttons at the bottoms, definitely, yeah, just drop me for knowledge because I go past quite a few of these. But yeah, definitely pick those up. And the one I did 100%, which made me pick those Care Bears up, I knew 100% that this is definitely, definitely from the 80s. And I can't remember what it's called. Is it a Vossel or? But yeah, what? Oh, it's got a tag on here as well. But yeah, it's got 1984 Wazzles. I So I remember, I remember, I think I even had this as a kid, especially this one. So as soon as I saw this, I knew it's from the 80s and I saw the Care Bears. I thought there's one Care Bear in there that looked like a new one. It had the stitch in, so I left that. But I took the other Care Bears and took this. I don't know if you would have seen the guy in the video as well who was next to me, who's a reseller as well. And literally we were neck and neck and he was buying toy bits and pieces, but a lot of the newer stuff. Uh, like I know you can get this new Bat Cave. Oh, I don't know what the make is. You've got, you've got the Bat Cave, you've got uh, Power Rangers and their little figures. Look, look kind of blocky. Uh, so he was picking up all that kind of stuff. And then he also picked up, which I totally missed. So the woman who was putting out the figures at the beginning where I picked up Chip Hazard, she was still setting up and as I went to the teddies, he was still in the pots and she just literally put a mega sword but all broken up into the separate bits in there and he picked them all up for 50p each. Now, I'm not too sure, you might just see it on camera as I'm walking past but yeah, absolutely gutted that I missed out on that but yeah, well played to him and that's a definitely good score for him. Uh, if I move on, still so still on the first boot zone so here. So yeah, so guys, uh, what a mistake, but uh, yeah, let's go through these two first. So I always get lots of people asking me, especially friends, if I see Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, and it had another disc in it, not too sure what that is, uh, but if I see Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, can you pick it up? Uh, it brings back a lot of memories for, uh, well, especially fr friends of mine who like the Michael Jackson uh, Moonwalker, so whenever I see that, I usually pick it up, you usually don't pay much for it, to be fair, a pound's mostly the most I've ever paid for one. It's all Micro Machines, which was one pound. I don't have this on PlayStation 2 at the moment. Who doesn't love Micro Machines? Uh, so yeah, definitely pick that up for the collection. This was the one that got away, and I should have checked it. It's such, such, such a guppy mistake. Uh, so I ended up not checking any of this and getting quite excited because, because I saw Gremlins uh, on VHS. And I've, as you know, guys, I've started to pick up a little vintage VHS collection. So I picked that up, picked those up, gave the lady the three pounds, started walking off, and I thought, oh, I haven't checked anything. Why haven't I done that? So I checked the two discs, they're fine. Check the video. And you know what? I'm not going back because it's that, that in my eyes, that's down to me. I should have done that. You know, I should have checked that. It's on me, you know. It's silly for me for doing that. But yeah, it's, it's basically just a normal VHS tape. And it's crazy people, three men and a little lady, and the Pope must die. So I'm not going to lie, there's some quality movies on there, but I would have rather had the original Gremlins. And I might even check if these videos are on here, because The Pope Must Die was a quality movie, and Three Men and a Little Lady, yeah, again, quite funny, and Crazy People. So let's see, I might get, you know, might watch it, but it's not, yeah, it's a mistake. Uh, then you would have seen, so the, I've been trying to buy certain Blu-rays to top up my collection, and one I've been after, which is quite a, just... A weird movie was The Cell by Jennifer Lopez. Well, with Jennifer Lopez in it. So I've been after this for a while. And then I saw it sealed. The DVD's loose inside. So I'll, and I will open this. Because uh, this is for my collection. And yeah, I think the lady... I can't remember. I think it was 50p or a pound. But yeah, for a sealed... And, and I've been after this. Buying that for my collection. So I took that. And then the last... Oh no. So I've got the four cards in here. So you would have seen, you would have seen the lady had a massive pot of Pokemon cards that she was selling. I think she was asking 12 for one pound. I went for it and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try and see how much she wants for the whole box. Just gonna do it, just gonna put it out there. She didn't feel comfortable, so I could get the five straight away. She didn't feel comfortable giving me a price for the whole lot. She didn't wanna sell the whole lot and she was happy to sell them individually. So I kind of tried to cut that conversation out quite quickly and just uh, mellow things back out, which you might notice in the video. Uh, but yeah, I picked up some single cards with that box Pokemon set there so i picked up i saw this card in there and i'm more than saying it's from the 70s original star wars so i picked that up and these were just got thrown in with that four pound buy uh which is quite good picked up this shiny 
picked up a number of Pikachus on a card. And then my favourite Pokemon, Charmander, so I picked that up as well. So I was happy with those. I just put those with my loose cards that I've already got. And then the last one from the first boot sale that I went to. So there was a lady there selling bits and pieces for the Wii. So you can never have enough of the actual Wii uh, steering wheels, especially with Mario Kart and the amount of people that come around and we play Mario Kart. So I picked out another one of those. So the official Nintendo ones now. I think I've got five. Uh, but I, I'll just keep picking those up because I think they've got a good trade in as well. Uh, it was funny that I saw the Joypad because I actually paid four pounds. So I paid for this lot. I paid five pounds for the game, the Joypad, and the steering wheel. I actually paid five pounds not that long ago for a Joy a Wii Joypad because I actually needed one for my console. So I should have just waited. Uh, but no worry, I've got two now. So that will go in my collection. And then the last one was I thought, oh, I'll pick up the Simpson game. I have already got it, so I've checked. Uh, and you can never have enough cases. But inside, when I opened it, there was loads of games missing. But there was Wii Sports. So, yep, no scratches either. So I was quite happy with that and happy just to throw that in the bundle. So I, I definitely used the case. And the Wii Sports, I've got quite a few of the cardboard inserts, which I've just got inside games before. So I just slide it back into one of those and put it with one of the consoles. So I was happy with that. So guys, that was the first boot sale. And then the second boot sale, I thought I'd done a lot better at and I was expecting it to be quite small. And this is the one that I went to on a Wednesday and it's also open on a Wednesday. And I'll start filming from next Wednesday. Uh, so yeah, it was field to field. I was so shocked. And I got to that because I went to the Pendleton one first and got these bits and pieces. Uh, I didn't get to this second boot sale until about eight o'clock. Uh, so I was quite amazed. There was still some good pieces about and it just shows that not a lot of people go to this boot sale or they just don't know about it. Uh, I do see some local YouTubers that post up that go to it, but I saw them all this morning at their bigger boot sale. Uh, so I definitely, I know for a fact, I left a lot of them there and went straight away to this smaller boot sale, which mostly done me well. But yeah, if I go through what I picked up first, and you guys should see on the video. So I picked up, and I went through this quite a lot just to make sure all the bits are there, but picked up Donkey Kong. And really happy with that. Anything kind of Nintendo, Mario... Yeah, that's definitely that stay in my collection. And then I thought I'm just going to pick up some and see if there's any resale value in the future. So I picked up Doctor Who, which is all there. And I'm I'm not a Doctor Who fan, so that will definitely be going. And then the guy, uh, because he's seen me around before and he was asking me about YouTube, etc. And said that he's, I believe he said his son watches my videos. Uh, very grateful that for that. Uh, so he said, he, I know for a fact he brings new board games every week. So I picked those up, they were £2 each, and then this one was £2, so I picked this up as well, all there. It just looked quite interesting, I haven't seen it before, but Stop Thief. So it's from 1980, uh, yeah, don't know too much about it, so I have to do some research on that. But the phone should be there, there's a bit of cardboard there at the moment, but we have got the electronic phone, but yeah, everything's in there as well. So for £2, I thought I'm picking up as well, so total those three games come to £6, really happy with that. Uh, and then I just went on a random, just going through different bits and pieces to see what else was on the stall. So I picked up Blu-ray, which I need is Team America World Police. So I've got a number of it on DVD, so I was happy to get on Blu-ray. So I'm more than likely to get rid of the DVD versions. Picked up the Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. So I, I know I need this. So that'll be going into my collection. And then this one I haven't seen before. So uh, Gitaruri Man. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but yeah, so don't know too much about this. And uh, it was a kid there, I guess I think his dad had gone off quickly and he was there and he had a PlayStation 2 which he was selling, which I've got a number of PlayStation 2s already. I definitely don't need any more for the moment. Uh, and he had a number of games and I had all of them, but I just I didn't have this one. Don't know anything about it, never seen it. Absolutely look at the art on that for the front cover, and that's what just sucked me in. So yeah, that'll be going into my collection. And I have to find out a little bit more information on this. And then this was a funny one. So walking along the stalls, and you'll see this in the video, I saw this case straight away at the bottom of a bag. And I knew just by looking at a case, that's a, that's a PS Vista case. So I thought, right, I need to pick it up. And I've been watching, guys, a lot of other YouTubers. So I've been watching like Game Boys are awesome, uh, Bizarro's Pieces, Empire Toys. And then the other one I've been watching is Ed Hunt. And he does the similar circuit of boot sales to me. And a couple of weeks ago, he picked up a Game Boy cartridge that had no sticker on. And he took a gamble for a quid, I think. 
he got it home, played it, and it was DuckTales. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe he found that for a quid. Uh, so I saw this. Didn't open it to... I don't know if I opened it for... A, no, I did open it. Saw what it was, uh, which it's Marvel, Marvel Super Heroes. And the lady was like, oh, what is it? I said, oh, it's a game. And she was like, just give me a quid. Uh, so for a quid, I, I honestly think that's a bargain. Don't know how much that retails for or how much you get for it. Uh, it's got no cover, but for one pound, yeah, I'm extremely happy with that. And then there was another one. And guys, this is where my camera cut out. So you wouldn't, you should have seen that, P, you should have seen that PS game. You wouldn't have seen this stuff here. So I need to, work, I need to get a new battery for my GoPro because it, I can do the whole of the first boot sale. And then the second one, I get about halfway through and the camera just dies. Uh, so yeah, so you didn't see this. So I don't think you saw this. So this was on a stall. And the year on this one is 1998. Uh, I weren't going to pick it up, to be fair. I've already got a couple of these. I just said to the guy, how much do you want for it? And he said, it's 20p. For 20p, I'm going to pick it up. Uh, so it's an original. I just need to check the batteries and make sure that anything hasn't a crowd in there or anything. But yeah, 20p. Very happy with that because I believe that's one of the original ones. And then what you guys wouldn't have seen. So just as I was leaving, I never pick this stuff up usually. Uh, but... You know, it's a new day, it's a new me. I've picked up Teddy, so I thought, right, okay. I'm going to take a look. And this is what stood out to me straight away. And guys, these are going to friends already because uh, me and my friends used to absolutely love little Bongo growing up. And I know these are from either the late 80s or the nine, early 90s. Uh, and they used to give these away with the cartons. So the lady had these and she wanted £1 for all of these, which I thought, yeah, straight away, I'm going to I'm gonna pick them up. Two were chipped. And she was throwing them away. And she said, look, you can take them. And I thought, yep. Yeah, these two are chips at the just at the bottom. But still, the art around it or bongo. So, yeah. So, I said, look, I'm definitely interested. Definitely want them. And I think she done me the whole lot for one pound. So, yeah, definitely. Look, look at the art on those. Pure 80s. Well, 80s, 90s right there. So, yeah, they will be going to friends. And no doubt they just display them on shelves. They're not going to drink out of them. Hopefully not anyway. Uh, and then the same lady, so I saw those and then she went, oh, I've got more. And I went, right, okay, so let's get these out. So she had a Michelangelo, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Then she had a Power Rangers and these were 50p for these two. Uh, that's 94. This is 99. So that, that already go because the same person I'm going to give somebody a bongo to collects these uh, Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I've asked Aaron at Empire Toys if he's got this. If not, he's having that. He can have that because he's a huge Power Ranger fan. And again, they haven't they haven't cost me much, so they go to the people that are going to appreciate them. And it's the same with this. So this is from '95, and this has got the I guess it's the coins or their morphers there, and it's a little Power Ranger cup. So again, if Aaron hasn't got these Empire Toys, they're going to him when I next see him. And then there was another little Power Ranger piece here. Which was, I don't know, I, I'm assuming it's an egg cup because she had some egg cups there. So it's a Power Ranger egg cup. So again, that can go to Aaron if he needs that. And then she had a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, and it's a bit beat up, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, pat lunchbox. I didn't even open it to be fair. Oh, it's alright, it's clean inside. I'm expecting like an out of date uh, banana or something. But yeah, so I've got that. So that, that was 50p. So I'll keep that. And oh yeah, then she had this as well, which I I just I love this the art on this and this just looks incredible. I didn't even check the year, but again this was fifty p for this set, so ninety ninety, and that's the cartoon I remember growing up. So yeah, definitely gonna keep that, and then you've got the bowl that come with that as well for fifty p. So yeah, all around there ninety ninety, and then you've got Bluebird on the bottom. 1983 so that is strange it's uh, 1983 on the bottom and 1990 so that might be when the company was actually made but or formed but yeah so yeah loving that teenage mutant ninja turtle the power ranger stuff will go to aaron if he needs it and then the obongo stuff are going to friends because i believe they all still drink that i believe you can still buy that in some retailers so yeah and then she had some egg cups so i remember that so that's going to my brother who wants that and again, look, I'm just sharing the love at the moment. Uh, oh, look, there's another Power Ranger one, and it's different, so that can go if Aaron needs that. It's got a nice little collection of that. And then this is going in my collection 
and this is going with my game so i haven't seen this one before but there's a super mario brothers uh so if you look at the turtles and i, I do remember these being out in the early 90s but yeah i don't remember the super mario brothers so i'm keeping the super mario brothers one and i just go with on my gaming shelf so yeah so in terms of boot sale guys all in all there's bits on the floor there's bits up here there's toys there's blu-rays there's games i'm very happy with what i got today uh thought it was a good day for what i've gone out and got uh, and there's gonna no doubt there'll be a lot of happy people with the pickups i've got and the bits i'll be passing on to people as well so yeah hope you enjoyed guys thanks for the support uh please subscribe keep watching there's gonna be more videos i'm hoping well i'm gonna do next a charity shop pickup so i spent the weekend at two charity shops but didn't bring the gopro because the person i was with felt uncomfortable with it on fair enough happy i take people's thoughts and views into consideration uh so i didn't wear it but i got some awesome stuff from the charity shop uh yesterday so i will do that video no doubt i'll update that uh upload that again tonight as well so yeah thanks for watching guys thanks for the support take care and have a lovely weekend see you again next week